Hey, what's going on YouTube or Storm here? Coming back to you guys with a new deck profile. I apologize for the delay of videos. I know it's been about a week, but I was a little pretty sickly and I needed to get back on track. Plus I needed to with regionals coming up, I um I needed a little bit of play testing coming in as well. I did go to locals last weekend, didn't do too bad considering I was playing like a Cyber Angel Herald in a Pretty pendulum based locals, but nevertheless, um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at the Houston Regional next weekend. Um, so, But today I want to talk a little bit about ABCs. The other video this week will be talking about how side deck cards that I will be, that I'm, I and you can also side against ABCs. But for today, we're going to be mostly talking about why this deck is good and why you kind of need to prepare for it. So, um, there's two different variations on ABCs. This is one you're looking at now is the rank 4 variant. There is the rank 5 variant that uses Transmodify and Galaxy Soldier. Um, but looking at the OCG list, the rank 4 variant has turned to be with a bunch of traps. It's turned out to be the most consistent variant. There's no doubt about that. It's been the most consistent. So, um, there, the it is the rank four Karakuri very the rank the Galaxy Soldier Karakuri variant is definitely you know a lot more fun and it can set up bigger boards. But like a lot of situations, would you rather have the better board or the more consistent? And like this this build is definitely more consistent. So um, the main thing with ABCs is they are modernized Union monsters. Um, Union Hanger is definitely the facilitator in this. Um, all the monsters float, they have really good effects, but the main monster you care about, of course, is Dragon Buster. ABC Dragon Buster is a very powerful monster, and is definitely the monster you need to stop in order to keep the deck from beating you. Nevertheless, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the deck for all file. First off, we have the um, three copies of A Assault Core. Um, Assault Core, um, the main... The, most of the union, most of the time, their effects are kind of irrelevant. They have effects when they're equipped to monsters. They can protect them. Um, Assault Core, when it's equipped, the monster's unaffected by monster effects. And when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, um, you can add one other union monster from your graveyard to your hand. I mean, the important thing to remember is, is none of the ABCs are once per turn, and they all float. They are if effects, so they will trigger no matter how they get to the graveyard. We have three copies of B Buster Drake. Buster Drake's effect is... Um, while it's equipped to a monster, it keeps you un it, the monsters unaffected by spell effects, which is pretty nice. So if your opponent tries Regeki, um, bust, it, the monster won't when it could to bust your deck, it'll be unaffected, which is nice. The other thing is when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, it adds it a union monster. Um, but really pretty good. One of the um, and of course we have our C Crush Wyvern. Crush Wyvern. Um, Crush Wyvern, um, and, and it protects its it's unaffected, makes the monster unaffected by trap effects when it's equipped. And then, if it's since the field, the graveyard, you can special summon a Union monster from your hand. Um, these are the main, most important monsters because they get you to your ABC Dragon Buster, um, which we're going to get to later. Um, three copies of Photon Thrasher. I've looked at the OCG list. Um, Photon Thrasher is pretty common. It's one of the best cards you can play because it gets you straight to your rank four plays. It gets your combos rolling. And unlike you know other monsters you could be playing, it doesn't require your opponent. It doesn't require your opponent to have anything. You can just special summon it and get your combo rolling. It's also twenty one hundred which is important because it does get over a lot of smaller you know a lot of times your opponent when they make their first turn plays they don't always make a lot of really big monsters they have something like you know something that's not the biggest attacks cast so photon dash is pretty nice can simply beat over it then we have the both copies of silver and gold gadget look when i looked at the ocg list i noticed there's a pretty decent variation on the number of gold and silvers some play a third gadget but i feel like this is kind of the proper number um they, whenever they're normal or special summon, they can special summon a level 4 machine from your hand. And if they're destroyed by Valor card effect that includes if they're solemn, solemned, they can special summon a gadget monster from your deck. Um, and for, and, and they're all, they both have um, once per turn. You can only use their effect once per each of use one gold gadget effect per turn. That's important to remember. Then, of course, the two maxis. Everything special summons right now. There's no real downside to ma not main decking maxi. Pretty much everything special summons, including ABCs. ABCs need multiple special summons to get a lot of their plays off. So either A, the decks just simply have to stop, or B, they give you at least a plus two minimum. So um, maxis probably, def going forward, I think even though it is semi-limited, maxi is definitely a main deck staple. Now for the spells, we have the one copy of Regeki. Regeki is still pretty decent in some, there's some situations where Regeki is pretty good at clearing, you know, annoying Bloodgate-y type monsters that this deck can struggle with sometimes. And we have the three Pot of Desires. This card has caused a lot of controversy in the community. However, nevertheless, 
Pot of Desires is absolutely a necessity, necessary combo piece in ABCs because all of the cards do the same thing. So once you've gotten your initial combo off, it gets you those, it draws you into those traps that you do need to stop your opponent from, you know, breaking your board. If, you know, whether you play two or three is really up to you, but I do think that ABCs are one of those decks where you really do need Pot of Desires to kind of get you from here, there to the next level. It is a good card, there's no doubt about that, and in this deck it fits pretty swimmingly. Um, then we have one copy of Reinforced Swing Army, the Searchers are Photon Thrasher, and we have the three copies of Union Hanger. Um, so when Union Hanger is activated, it's like has an effect, has an optional effect to add a Light Machine Union monster from the deck to your hand. And then the other effect is when it's when during either player's turn, if a Light Machine type monster is Union Monsters normal special summon to your field, you can target one of those monsters equipped for, from deck. That is really good. Good. The monster name does have to be definite, def but. The important thing to remember about Union Hanger is is that it act, can act work on your opponent's turn. Whenever you tag out your Dragon Buster, for example, you can basically like special summon all the pieces and then grab more materials from your deck. It's an incredible card. One of the if you want to stop this deck, it's definitely one of the cards you need to stop from resolving. It's one of the most important. Two Twin Twisters. Most of your cards act at work in Grave. You know, uh, A, B, and C all have effects when they're pitched from your hand. So Twin Twisters fits pretty good in here. It's also going to be really more important to me running stuff like Twin Twister because of this deck because you know you're gonna see a lot more traps. Three terraformings you absolutely need to see um, Union Hangers first turn so three terraforming is staple. Um, you can always ditch extra copies with Dragon Buster it's no big deal. So for the traps one emptiness. Emptiness is still one of the most powerful traps in the entire game. I can't really see you know unless I don't really see a reason not to run it in a deck like this where you are main decking a lot of traps. Two anti-spell fragrances this card, you know, it's still at three and honestly I don't know why it is, but definitely, you know, if anti-spell fragrance is a very powerful card, definitely something that um probably shouldn't be at three, but you know, it's main deck worth to be in here here. The one warning and the three strikes, this is reserved pretty common in most of the, a lot of the OCG lists. There's some lists that have like just the strikes or just or have a solemn judgment because it's uh, it's that one over there. But it's pretty common, I think. Um, then the interesting tech I do have in here is Oasis of mm -hmm. Dragon Souls. One thing, I, I looked at the OCG list, and one thing I saw this card, and the reason it's important is because a lot of people um, side deck system down against ABCs. And the important thing to remember is it special, uh, Phantoms, uh, Oasis special summons the monster as a worm type monster. So it will be, not only will it grab, you know, a properly summoned Dragon Buster from your graveyard, and it'll special summon in defense mode, but it will also prevent that monster from being banished. I noticed that this kind of wasn't in every OCG list, but it's definitely something that if you are playing the rank four variant, there's really no downside to um, running this card. It's, it, seems, it seems pretty good and it directly counters one of the most popular side deck options against the deck. Other cards I did see, um, you could definitely think about maybe side deck, uh, main decking, you know, Kaijus, main decking Book of Eclipse, but, you know, let's go ahead and get to the extra decks. First off, we have three copies of ABC Dragon Buster. One of the main reasons why this deck is good, um, you, it is a contact fusion, so that's important to remember because it can be solemn striked on summon. It banishes the cards you control or in the graveyard to summon itself, and on top of that, it has a quick banish effect, and it can tribute itself on your opponent's turn to bring the Union monster, three light Union monsters from your banished pile with, with different names, which is really good. Um, the important thing to remember is that it can only tag out on your opponent's turn, so if you manage to get it rid of, if you can play around it on your turn, you know, it's not that much of a problem to deal with. If you can get it off, if you have some kind of way to bounce to the extra deck, like with something like... Um, with something like Kirin, for example, remember it can only tag out in your opponent's turn. Important to remember, card's really good. Probably, you know, if you don't already have your kite, your winter cherries, you know, for this card, definitely something to think about. The one Tsukiyomi, much, this deck plays a lot like Teller, so oftentimes Tsukiyomi first turn is a pretty common play um, because it allows you to set your traps and draw more cards, which is always good. One Gear Gigant, you, you only really need one because it's like your initial search play to kind of get your plays going. Um, one diamond dire wolf. This is pretty common because a lot of pe a lot of times people are wanting stuff that you'll need a dire wolf to get off the field. The one paladynamo. You can go into it, and it's a pretty good card. Being able to negate a monster and put it to zero is always will not really be bad, and it also has a nice effect that floats and lets you draw more cards. The wind castell, castell. You know, pretty. This is pretty much a staple rank four at this point. One abyss dweller. Dweller's pretty common in a lot of the. You know, it's one of the best, you know, monsters right now, and you could justify even running two. One common card I did see in a lot of the OCG list was Rhapsody and Berserk. Rhapsody is actually probably better than ever right now because you have so many decks that are graveyard dependent, and 
being able to banish those resources permanently is really good being able to and then it, and then it can equip itself to any exceed i don't know if this card will become you know relevant again but it's definitely a card you know if you have some sitting in your collection it's definitely a card you should remember exists one dark, one dark rebellion for getting over you know beefy monsters Rebellion's still a pretty decent exceed seed if you know but honestly like most of the cards in this extra deck are just filler anyways one emerald for cycling back combo pieces and then we have the utopia utopia prime and lightning for getting over beefy monsters so anyway guys as always i thank you guys for watching the video today really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos tune in later this week to talk to see the rest of the um side the side decking things for abcs and um also late probably after this after the regionals i'll have a regional recap for you guys as always like thank you guys for watching so or storm signing out